Hi, uh, today we're going to make a little booklet, a little art booklet, or if you're really trendy, you'll call it a zine. Trendy like me, of course. Um, okay, let's put this here. Which way up? That way up. Okay, so here is... Let me adjust that. Here's my little booklet. Um, you can see it. Now, really, I wish I'd um, started this right when we were first told to all lock down. But of course, I've only just thought of it um, yesterday or in the middle of the night. So here we go. Here's how I make my little booklet. I've called this one, and I'm hoping to not have to make more than one or two of these. And I'm going to do something in it every day. So I started yesterday, and here's... I was painting my bedroom wall, so this is a little tiny painting of um, my paint roller. One thing you can't do with these little booklets is um, use felt tip directly onto the paper because it will go through to the next page. So if you're going to do a little felt tip drawing, uh, maybe do it on another piece of paper and stick it down. So that's fine. OK, I'm going to show you how I made my little booklet. So I've got um, a three piece of paper and I have folded it into four so now I'm just going to cut, or I quite like um, slightly ripped edges like that. So that's going to be quick and easy. So I'm just using a ruler to cut my paper. Okay, two more. One. Another bit here. One. Okay, so now I'm going to fold my paper like that, and that gives me my little booklet. Now, next thing I've got to do is I've got to make the holes. If you've got, so I'm using a little nail here, and I'm just going to push that through, which is probably the hardest thing. I used before was easier. This is quite hard. This paper. There we go. One and then another one up there. If you've got a long stapler, of course, you can use that. There we go. So I've made my holes. Now, actually, the hardest thing is getting a little bit of thread onto a needle. If you've got a darning needle, that's perfect, but if you don't. Now I go from the outside in, if you don't you just have to struggle like I did to get it onto a normal needle. So I've used a little bit of a uh, quite pretty, this is quite tricky, getting it through, come on, once it's through it's through, I should have made a bigger hole. I've got more bits of paper on this one than I did on that one I did earlier, which has made it a bit more difficult. Come on, bit of thread. There we go. Right. Okay, so I've got my thread coming through like that. Now I'm going to do a knot, tighten it with a second knot, and do a little tiny bow. some scissors and just tidy that up, a little thread edge there, and there. Okay, so there's my little book. Now, what I did was draw some little corona viruses on the front just to, when I find these little booklets in, I don't know how many years time, now I'll think, oh, look at that. Remember those, remember that time, remember that very, very strange time. Okay, so how I did those was I did some blobs. Okay, I gave them a little bit of 3D-ness, so I put a little bit of dark. I'm using a bit of red 
with some green to make a dark shadow on there. So just down there. We might use a lighter green. Make another one here. Let's have a bit dark again on the bottom to give it a little bit. I'm going to have a nasty black one now. Nasty virus. Okay, and then maybe a little, little one there. Then what I did to give that those little um, tag edges was I just, with the end of my brush, just went out like that. So I've just dipped that in a bit of paint. But you Okay, maybe I want a little bit of those little knobbly bits on the end there. So I'm just going to, maybe I could use the end of my brush. At least a tiny tip little end on those. Actually, I, I don't want them quite so big as that, so I'm just going to use the end like a little stick. Right, so there's my little viruses for now. Then I'm going to write the word one because this is book one. So I want that to look quite bold. Okay. And like I say, I hope I don't need to make too many books. And then I'm going to paint that. And these can become really then quite personal little books where you can add poems and little uh, bits of something that's important to you. Little ideas, draw something, you know, draw, draw some soup you've made, draw a feather you found on a walk. There's... It, it will be personal to you. I'm just going to add some tiny little, that's a bit too big, tiny more little dots to give more little. Okay, there we go. I'm looking forward to seeing what people will put in theirs. I'm going to be putting something in mine every day and every now and then I'll show you what I've been putting in mine. Okay. <laughs>